Lo-Fi music gained huge popularity in the last couple of years, from Spotify playlists dedicated to help you study, focus, or sleep, to YouTube channels uh, dedicated to streaming Lo-Fi music non-stop, like Lo-Fi Girl with 12 million subscribers. If you don't know what Lo-Fi music is, or if you're stuck with an older definition of Lo-Fi, I'm talking about an almost exclusively instrumental genre of hip-hop, with some jazzy chords and melodies and a retro sound. And just for clarity, a retro sound as in tape saturation, vinyl crackles rather than retro 80s synth sounds uh, which are not really uh, right for the genre. In fact, lo-fi music tends to be pretty acoustic. Lo-fi music is easy and incredibly fun to produce and today I want to make some with you using mostly two virtual instruments from my company Sonora Cinematic. We're going to use Verticale which is an upright piano we just released uh, which has the option for a cassette sound. Basically we took all the samples and passed them to one of those uh, through an old Porta studio which was a lot of fun and Harmonic Bloom which is a fully fledged uh, sound design environment with lots of great sounds. Let's get started describing some of the staples of lo-fi music, some of the main musical ingredients. First of all, jazzy chords. I said jazzy, not jets. Keeping it simple is really key here. I have Bitwig Studio open here. I normally use Nuendo as my main DAW, but I use Bitwig because it's great when you want to sketch some ideas. And in fact, we're going to mostly look at this clip view, which is really great to try uh, things and you can move them around. I have Contact 7 open with an instance of Verticale Felt already loaded. We are using this Cinema Felt snapshot, which I really really love. When I say jazzy chords, uh, we're mostly looking at using seventh chords. I listen to uh, a lot of uh, lo-fi and one thing that I hear a lot is this type of thing. Sort of like major seven, minor seventh, just going down the scale basically. So if you're in uh, G major, you can go from the fourth degree, something like. <laughs> Sorry, my mouth drumming. Or you can use some different voicings uh, of the same chords like. But we're gonna keep things simple. So we're gonna do. Maybe we can do this. Okay, so the chords I'm going to use are this C major 7, B minor 7, A minor 7, then I'm gonna go to G major. 7 and then to go back I'm going to use this chord which I guess is a A flat diminished 7 I'm really looking at this as an E7 chord though so imagine this as the root so here's our chord progression And this is gonna be nice because we are also gonna be able to go to A minor in a second session section if you want to. Lo-fi music tends to have pretty relaxed tempos, I'd say between 60, 70 up to 95, 100. I have 80 set up here, which I think should work. Let's activate the metronome and then going to record this. Something like this. Let's see if it's completely out of tempo. Just 
Should work okay. Next, I'm gonna need some drums. Let's open another instance of Contact 7. For hip hop drums, actually, recently I've been using a lot these 40s very own drums by Native Instruments. As usual, Native Instruments stuff sounds absolutely great. This one has a bunch of pre made loops as well, but we're not gonna use any of that. We're gonna write someone something ourselves. Hip hop beats using lo fi production tends to be very uh, basic, very simple anyway. Let's start recording some kick drum because I'm not good enough to record everything at the same time. Let's see if we can come up with something nice. Something incredibly basic like that. Let's quantize this. Okay, I'm not so happy with these last couple of beats. Let's see if we can find something more interesting to do. Maybe this. Let's try. That's kind of fun. Gonna keep the snare really simple and just gonna pencil it in and like that. And I had I really am gonna keep this incredibly simple because this is the whole point with this kind of music. Can I just put it area in no. We're gonna make the last one an open hat. Where do I have it? I have it here on the B flat. A nice thing that you can do with Bitwig is that you can give those some chance to be always trigger or not. I can, for example, say that every offbeat has a little less chance to be triggered. Can create some nice variation. And I can also create some velocity variation over here. If you go on velocity spread, you can increase it like that. You can create some interesting variations. Maybe I want the first one to be always a bit louder. It's basic, it's nice, it's easy. That's the whole point of the music. Very cool thing about uh, 40s very own drums are these macros are really well made, uh, especially this 40 uh, knob over here uh, gives that classic 40s production, sort of low pass filter, uh, which you hear a lot. Uh, this old stuff that sounds very cool, that, but I'm not gonna work on it right now. I'm just gonna uh, have a quick listen, but it's something that I'm going to uh, then tweak and automate once I start getting all these clips uh, into the timeline to arrange a full track, which we're not gonna do today. This is more about getting the basic ingredients, but just have a quick look. This delay can be very cool if you use it like a little burst. I 
I do like very much a tiny bit of crush and saturation on. It gives like a feel that is perfect for this kind of lo-fi uh, music. Uh, let's do some bass. For bass, there are uh, a couple of really subtle basses that work really well um, on Harmonic Bloom. So let's just load up another instance of contact. There you go. And then Harmonic Bloom. This ambient bass breath that we uh, built. I really like it. works really well. It's exactly the kind of stuff that I'm looking for. Let me uh, try and work out a little bass line. I think I can go Yeah, something like that. Uh let's see. Ah, I messed up. Classic. Again. Ooh, I messed up again. I was early on the second last chord. There you go. Can't fix that because I'm sick of doing it again and again. Can do. Can maybe force a legato here. Yeah, I think it sort of works. I like to hear a bit more separation here. So saving, didn't save yet. That's cool. Another thing that I hear a lot on lo-fi tracks are sort of weird acoustic guitars. And of course we do have one in Harmonic Bloom. So let's use that. I got a preset, which I love, which is called Singing Guitar uses this noise if you are not aware of harmonic bloom you should really check it out it's it's really a lot of fun it basically extracts pitches out of noise so you get this noise over here and you get a pitch out of it which is really cool all right yeah this is gonna work really well. Uh, not sure what to play, let me just jam a little bit with it. Ah, 
are the chords that I want to play. You could resolve on A minor rather than on the C major. Should I prepare this? There you go, that's it. Yes, that's what I want to play. I have it, I have it. Let's record it. Yeah, that's fun. Uh, obviously, I need to adjust this. We don't. So this is five bars, and I'm going to. I'm just going to make it eight. So in the second half, while everything else is playing, we're gonna have that. Am I going to quantize this? I'm just gonna leave it a bit swung. Good old pentatonic scale. Yeah, this is fun. I'm gonna again. This is just you know ingredients that we're gonna put here, and then I'm gonna think about it. Uh, so let's just write guitar over here, and it's it's a cool line that I'm sure I'm gonna use somehow when I arrange the track. There is a part of me that does want to contact this a little bit. I don't know if I can keep the swing, which I kind of like though. If I do this, obviously it's gonna be stray. Kind of works. I know what we can do. We can activate the groove track, if I remember how it works. Enable groove, there you go, with the eights. And then I can disable on everything else. Shuffle, that's it. Sorry, I haven't been using Bitwig for a while, to be honest. So I'm just gonna keep it here. Let's see if it works, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I'm doing the right thing. Whatever, it sort of works. <laughs> Let's not worry about that. I want more keys, something to sort of reinstate this chord. gonna do a bit more with the piano later but just yeah I just want to I just want something to maybe arpeggiate those chords something like that let's use a money bloom once again just because I love it if I can say so myself let's see some keys oh this is nice let's get the attack down so that we get the click yeah something like just gonna play exactly the same chords, but arpeggiating them. I need to do it one octave up. I'm trying to do this. Um, the that's what I'm trying to do. That's what I'm thinking it will work, actually, at least. I'm not sure if it actually will. Some dodgy time in there. Just gonna fix it 
in post, as they say. not enjoying this guitar tremendously at the moment, let's... You know what I'm hearing instead of the guitar, which I may get back later? Uh, maybe some mallets of sort. Let me call these keys. There is actually another Native Instruments library that I really like. Which is called, wait for this sort of stuff, it's called Lo-Fi Glow, I believe. Let me see if I can find it. Got to my library. Oh, there you go. <laughs> this could already work. A bit too similar to what we have, but I like the noise. Ah, oh, mallets, there you go. Too weird. <laughs> That's kind of fun. <laughs> I love this one. I love the falling pitch. Yeah, let's add this in again just to have it there, and then I don't know if I'll actually be using it. It might be seriously too weird. Let me find out. <laughs> It's fine. I, I think it's fine if I keep it at the right level in the mix and if I don't play crazy parts. I like it here. <laughs> Let me try. <laughs> this falling delay is too cool. Really love it. Let me see if I can make it a little less extreme somehow. I don't want to spend too much time now doing this, but it is cool. Just because I don't know the library, so I'd have to spend some time working out what it is. I like it. I think it works here within the genre. Boing. Forties also has some keys actually in contact, which I'm not sure I ever played with. <laughs> Shall we try them? Oh, nice. Not what I'm looking for, too similar to what we have already. Let's see. <laughs> this is basically a piano. 
which is very nice, but we already have Verticale. Champagne Paddle. That's kind of cool. I don't know. Yeah, this, this is really cool. Let's try something. Just, you know, little touches to fill up. Let's try. That's nice. Uh, I want to start thinking of a second section to throw some material for a B section, basically. Let's see what we can do. Let's go back to my piano. I kind of wanted to go to A minor. Just gonna do something simple. <laughs> basically going up rather than down in the progression. I know that it's simple, but the idea with this genre is to be really soft, really mellow, it's to really be in the background. This is the, the whole purpose of it. So, say, I'm just gonna try it. So this is what I have now. Oh, sorry. Yeah, that, it kind of works. Could also go. But now let's go. Yeah, I can go. Yes, I think it works. I'm just I'm just gonna record this. Oh, I need my net metronome. Something like that. Look how late that was. It's late. It's very late here. It's 11 p.m., so bear with me. So what I'm thinking is for a second, for a B section, something with like kick drum only. <laughs> I messed up and I didn't have the click on. Doesn't matter. Let's quantize it. That's sort of what I had in mind. Let me see if it makes sense at all. <laughs> no, not what I had in mind at all. I do need a click. It's too late. All right. Something like that. I 
Let me see if I can duplicate this and get some sort of variation in the other two bars. Copy too much. Eh, I don't know, it's fine. Uh, it's not great. No, I don't like it. Too many syncopations. You know what? I would do something like this. Not what I had in mind. I just go ba 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 ba. And then for the last bar, can I do something like? Yeah, that's kind of cool. Simple, it works. We got the bass on these chords that we need to do. Sorry. I could do something like. Let's try. I went down there, which I don't know if it works or if I should go up. I could probably slightly delay this one beat. Yeah, I could keep this going as a better. I don't even. Let's add some keys.
kind of cool. I want to use the piano a bit more. We need to use the cassette layer of Vertigale, which is one of my favorite bits. Oh, I have it on the other screen here. There you go. So Vertical has this cassette lay layer where basically we recorded all the we passed all the samples to cassette using my old Porta Studio. We recorded everything at maximum speed and then we slow down the tape so it basically results a more or less a minor third lower and then we retune this. So it sounds like really warbly. If I deactivate all the other microphones, it sounds like this. which it's amazing. It's like true lo-fi, <laughs> as in properly recorded to cassette. You also have like the sound of the Porta Studio here if you want. <laughs> it's kind of cool. Maybe you can get an instance of this though. Or maybe we could actually use uh, the natural um, verticale. Because that one has a cassette layer too. Let's look at a snapshot. This one is already as the cassette layer layered in as mono. Well, let's actually load a bit of ribbon too. Let's lower the crunch. I love this cassette layer. Too much lo-fi. I kind of like this distorted vibe for this music. You can hear the aliasing. Let's see. Give it a bit splash of delay. Maybe. Let me try and record it. It's kind of fun would actually duplicate the old melody when I come over, gives it a bit more body. Yeah, there you go. I mean, it's not a full track, obviously. It's just uh, a bunch of things that we can then need to uh, lay down um, and arrange. But I think it's fun. We definitely nailed the vibe of the genre. Let's try the guitar back on. Yeah, it's cool. Um, then what you need to do uh, for proper lo-fi, you need to go to the master. I had a little peak limiter on here just because I am recording and I want to avoid recording peaks. Obviously, I wouldn't do that if I wasn't uh, recording my screen. Uh, you need to add some tape saturation on the master to really give it some great. Uh, one thing that I particularly love is Baby Audio's tape or whatever you pronounce this, I guess tape. 
uh, you can play with this one a little bit and put it on the master and you can get some really cool Let's see if they have some presets we can use. This is fun. Be too much noise, maybe. But I mean, or if you can, if you want to really destroy things, you can use Origin. This is a free plugin by Cymatics, I think. Yeah, it's really cool. But the way I would use this is, again, automating uh, the bypassing of the, of the effect. It's cool, like an intro effect, maybe. And then you go. Whereas tape is more, you know, an always there kind of thing, but a little bit much. Let me try. I think you get the point. It's it's fun. It's you know uh, easy to produce, and you can really have a lot of uh, of fun uh, creating this type of music. I certainly do. And then obviously the next step is to start putting uh, you know on your arrange uh, window on your timeline all your drums and you know do your. Com put your composer hat on and and arrange and arrange the track which is always fun or you can play a lot with the clips and record what you're what you're doing i do that a lot when i'm on bitwig maybe using a little controller thank you so much for watching i hope you had fun i hope this inspired you to go make some lo-fi music if you want to support this channel you can do so by liking this video and subscribing to the channel i would really love it if you could do that and please if you're interested in our plugins head over to sonorasinematic.com i'm going to put a link in the description down below both verticale and harmonic bloom are currently on sale harmonic bloom is 25 percent off as we re just released a very big update with 60 a brand new preset and verticale is currently on an intro price thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time